to be straight up with you, I think that there were a lot of people who, uh, who really were, were struggling to get to the top level by the skill of their play and by their, by, by their creativity. And I think that instead of channeling their creativity into becoming a better Magic player, they, instead they kind of channeled their energy more politically into making kind of slanderous attacks and so forth and stuff like that. But you're going to run into that anywhere, you know, where, where folks kind of get, get jealous of people who just take the time to do, you know, to do the math and do things correctly. And, you know, I mean, that comes up. But it was really just, you know, at the same time, I mean, it was just their metagame strategy. I mean, you know, if they couldn't beat us, you know, playing the game, then then they wanted to beat us on the internet and, and write a bunch of slanderous articles and, you know, just, just sort of, I mean, my Wikipedia entry is like a work of insane fiction. It's, it's hilarious. Actually, they, there's even a book that was published, Johnny Magic, that has I mean, just, you know, a scenario that's just provably false, you know, where, where supposedly I cheated an event when I just didn't. And so, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's sad because it's kind of trivial. I mean, it's just a game and, and nobody's going to, like, God's not going to like you more if you win a Magic tournament. God's not going to like you more if you, if you design a better deck. Or even if he is, you have no way of knowing that God likes you more because of this. And that's really what moral judgment ultimately must boil down to, is, you know, whether, whether what you're doing is moral and just. And now, by the way, there are judgments that you can make that are very valid. Mathematical judgments, if you say, well, three is more than two, well, it is. You know, I mean, that's not, you're not judging somebody else morally in that situation. You're just saying the three equals more than two. And that's, that's the kind of judgments in, in magic and, and in really in life that you want to make. And it's something that I learned a lot. And then there's, you know, this, uh, this other side where you're worrying about whether somebody's evil or not. The, the idea behind, like, moral judgment is that, like, you're like the Terminator and you, you break down the scenario, you see all the math and you see, here's the right answer, here's the wrong answer, and you're like, I'll pick wrong. Nobody really does that. Not in my experience, anyway. Games are kind of a wonderful thing. Games are also an opportunity to realize that, that no... There's, there's no achievement in life. There's no amount of money you can make, no, no hot girl that you can date, no, there's, you know, no, it's not money, it's not winning a championship. None of these things are going to make it so your life is perfect. The only thing that makes your life better is understanding. And I think that magic is a good, good opportunity to learn that because you get guys who finally win the championship and they're like, whoa, wow, this really wasn't it. My life isn't now perfect. There's no marching band. It now follows me around for the rest of my life and people just hoist me up and, and now my life is perfect and I walk on air. So.